All right, Shalom, Wam, Shalom, Wam, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Chakradash. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of Great Millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. Double honors to my fellow uh, Akim, pushing the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom, Wam, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect who listen and subscribe to the men in Doctrine of Great Millstone. This is the Belly of Dive G. Mr. Atlanta Church. Come with another lesson uh, through the Spirit, uh, Power, Mercy, How by Shemi Shai. It's going to be entitled, Our Lord Came Through a Man. You know, because, you know, people, you know, especially especially those who have a, a background um, in the Christian church, um, as Elder Apostle Zahar refers to it, you know, plantation Christianity, you know, they're real simple, man. You know what I'm saying? So there are some people who, you know, can't, you know, and that's why it's good, you know, also to just, you know, take time even for us to go back and review these certain topics because they are uh, an important portion of the doctrine because, uh, you know, with understanding that Yahweh Shai, our Lord, our Savior, you know, um, actually came and, uh, you know, manifested perfection, so to speak, on earth in the flesh, you know, with being in the flesh on earth and us falling far, far from that level of perfection, you know, it's, it's good to get back in these topics, man. So, uh, like I said, the, the topic of the lesson is our, our Lord came through a man. And Lord willing, you're uh, edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So I'm going to start off in the book of John, the seventh chapter. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 38. John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, and this is red letters, so obviously it's uh, Yahweh Shai speaking. Matthew, I'm going to start with a verse. This is uh, John 7 and 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And that's a a, a, a great scripture, uh, you know, for us. We're in the ministry to, uh, you know, keep in, in, in our spiritual memory bank because, you know, a part of the doctrine, especially those, like I said, who, uh, you know, actively proclaim the gospel of the coming of our Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, through his son, Yahweh Shai, it's good to, uh, you know, like I said, just keep the scripture, uh, you know, in rotation, man, okay? Uh, continuing on, John 7 and 39, but this spake he of the spirit going to live on waters, which they that believe on him should receive for the Holy Spirit was not yet given because that Yahweh Shai was not yet glorified, meaning that he hasn't at the time, uh, you know, given his, his life uh, literally uh, yet. Uh, continuing on, many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying said of a truth, this is the prophet. So, yes, Yahweh Shai was also a prophet. Others said, this is the Christ or the Hamashiach, the anointed. But some said, shall Christ come out of Galilee? <laughs> Jake, man, you know, like Jake, even with us, like, you know, brothers come from various backgrounds, man. Brothers have diverse uh, life experiences and go through different things on their day to day. So, Lord willing, if we are of the elect, especially the chosen number, 144,000, it's going to come a time when people be like, yo, this guy from, you know, fill in the blank, you know? Uh, continuing on, because <clears throat> here's the point, John 7 and 42, have not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David, right? The seed of David, right? In which we know the uh, word seed goes back into a, uh, uh, sperma okay i mean a literal seed you know semen and out of the town of bethlehem where david was see just going to that point that our lord came through a man our lord physically came through the loins of a man because what our lord yahweh shai was a man who came on earth and lived in the flesh you see very simple
<laughs> Very simple, man. You know. Um, this is the book of Romans, chapter one, verse three. Concerning his son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, period. Well, the semicolon, but that's just the point. A priest have to bring out that what? Our Lord, Yahweh Shai, came through a man, through the flesh. Uh, that was the point. I just want to grab that one really quick. Um, you can go to 2 Timothy 2. Yeah, let me see. Get to the point. This is 2 Timothy 2. <clears throat> I'm starting verse 7. 2 Timothy 2 and 7. Consider what I say. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things, going to consideration of the scriptures. Verse 8. Remember that Yahweh Shah Mashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, right? Remember that Yahweh Shah Mashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer even unto bonds, but the word of the Most High is not bound, going to the, the strength and the truth of the word. But once again, our Lord came through a man, another precept, 2 Timothy 2 and 8, right? And I'm going to get one more precept. Uh, Revelation 22. And get right to the point. Revelation 22 and 16. I, Yahweh Shai, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. And this is part of their testimony, man, of their truth, of uh, 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 understanding of the scriptures through the Holy Spirit. I am the root and offspring of David and the bright and morning star. That's red letters, man. Yahweh Shai is making that declaration and that proclamation that he is of the root and the offspring of David. That he came through that uh, royal line. Point blank period, man. Our Lord came through a man. Okay? So, I hope that was edifying. <clears throat> I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shemi Shai, by Shemi Kakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors my fellow occupants, the word and true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom. Wa.